Today we're taking a look at these college basketball matches, which are happening on Monday, January 23, 2023, and giving you our team and total picks for today. Welcome back to High Stakes. Before we dive into our video, don't forget to subscribe and push that notification bell to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos and make sure to watch it till the end so you don't miss any of our picks. Also check out our Patreon if you want access our premium picks. Our Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. You will find the link in description and comments section below. One more thing before we start, check out our new channel High Stakes Props and Parlays, where you can find our player props and parlay picks predictions. You will find the link in the description and comments section below. Northwestern Wildcats vs Wisconsin Badgers The Wisconsin Badgers go back on the road Monday night to Evanston, Illinois for a game against the Northwestern Wildcats. Wisconsin comes into Monday with 12 wins on the year, following a three-point victory against Penn State that ended a three-game skid. Defensively Wisconsin did just enough allowing only 60 points, including just 24 in the second half on 44.9% shooting and the Badgers forced 10 turnovers in the game. Offensively Wisconsin shot the ball well, making nearly 53% of their shots and 41.2% from beyond the arc, who scored 63 points, including 33 in the second half, to erase a 6-point halftime deficit. The return of Wall changes the dynamic for Wisconsin. He gives the team another long-range shooter and has the ability to stretch the floor. His absence over the last three games hampered the Badgers' ability to get quality shots on the offensive end. Wisconsin is not a strong shooting team overall, but they are a very good 3PT shooting team, ranked 53rd in the nation. Meanwhile, the Wildcats are just 235th in the country against a 3PT shot. Neither team will hurt themselves with turnovers, so this will be a possession-to-possession -possession game. With that in mind, the Badgers' ability to knock down three PT field goals will spell the difference in a close game. Our team pick is Wisconsin for the win. The Badgers will make it two straight wins in Big Ten play on Monday. Both teams play at a very slow pace, particularly the Badgers. Wisconsin is ranked just 339th in the nation in pace of play. They won't turn the ball over and will have a high number of looks at the rim. Unfortunately, they shoot the ball poorly, and that won't be helped after having nearly a week off thanks to the game cancellation. Northwestern plays at a slow pace themselves, ranking 213th in the nation. The Wildcats have been off even longer than Wisconsin, missing over a week due to the cancellation. Our total pick is under the total. This will be a slow-paced defensive struggle on Monday night. Detroit Mercy Titans vs Oakland Golden Grizzlies the Oakland Golden Grizzlies visit Callahan Hall in Detroit, Michigan on Monday for a Horizon League battle against the Detroit Mercy Titans. Oakland improved to 8-12 overall and 6-3 in Horizon League play, following its 83-77 victory over the IUPUI Jaguars. Oakland has won six of its last seven, with only a loss to Youngstown State during that stretch. Detroit Mercy is only 2-2 against the spread in the last four games, but has one of the nation's best scorers in Antoine Davis, who is leading the country in scoring at 27.0 points per game and shoots the lights out from long range, hitting 40.5% of his three-point attempts. Oakland's defense allows an average of 76.4 points per game and is giving up a three-point shooting percentage of 36.2%, which plays into the hands of Detroit's strength. Oakland has failed to cover the spread in each of its last three, and although the Golden Grizzlies are scoring 72.9 points per game, their shooting percentage is just 43.6%, which is 233rd in the nation. Our team Detroit Mercy Titans minus 5.5 points. That means they need more possessions to reach that number, and therefore giving their opponents more possessions. The total has finished over in each of Oakland's last two, and in 11 of the Golden Grizzlies' 19 this season. The total has finished over in each of Detroit Mercy's last six and in 12 of the Titans, 19 games this season with a betting line. Our total pick is over 153 points. Oakland has an adjusted pace of play of 68.4, while Detroit's is 67.1. Therefore each team will have several possessions to push the point total over. Virginia Tech Hokies vs Duke Blue Devils the Duke Blue Devils visit Cassell Coliseum in Blacksburg, Virginia on Monday for an Atlantic Coast Conference clash with the Virginia Tech Hokies. 
Duke improved to 14-5 overall and 5-3 in ACC play, following its 68-66 victory over the number 17 ranked Miami Hurricanes. The leading scorer for Duke was Kyle Filipowski with 17 points. The Blue Devils have won three of their last four. I'm going to take a shot with Virginia Tech to cover the spread on Monday night. Duke has been very reliant on Kyle Filipowski this season, as the freshman center is averaging 15.0 points per game and 9.5 rebounds per contest. However, I think he'll have a tough night on the court as he's running into a dynamic duo of forwards in Grant Basil and Justin Mutz. These two are combining for 13.2 rebounds per game, 2.2 steals per game, and 2.2 blocks per game. If they can make life difficult for the freshmen on the road, I think the Hokies play well enough to cover the number. Our team pick is Virginia Tech to cover. From a trend standpoint Duke is 0-5 against the spread in its last five games, per odds arc. They've also struggled in Blacksburg, going just 1-5 against the spread in their last six road games at Virginia Tech. Let's ride with the Hokies on Monday. I like the under to hit on Monday night in Blacksburg. These are two of the stingier defenses in the country, each allowing less than 66 points per game. Duke brings in the 29th ranked defense, allowing 63.5 PPG, while Virginia Tech is 63rd at 65.6 opposing PPG. In terms of adjusted efficiency, the Blue Devils are 35th, 95.2 points allowed per 100 possessions, and the Hokies are 57th, 97.1. Our total pick is under the total. Furthermore, Duke's offense has really struggled this season, shooting just 42.9% from the field, the 232nd best FG% percent in the country. Cassell Coliseum should be rocking on Monday night, and I expect the Blue Devils to struggle with their shooting. The under is 6-1 in Virginia Tech's last seven home games, look for that trend to continue in this spot. Coastal Carolina Chanticleers vs Chicago State Cougars the Chicago State Cougars visit the HTC Center in Conway, South Carolina on Monday to play the Coastal Carolina Chanticleers. Chicago State looks to snap a two-game losing streak when visiting Coastal Carolina. The Cougars are 4-16 following an 85-82 loss to Utah Rio Grande Valley. Chicago State has lost two straight and nine of the last ten. When looking at Ken Palm's adjusted efficiency margin, there is a pretty good difference between these programs, as Chicago State is 305th with a minus 10.94 rating, while Coastal Carolina is 247th in college basketball with a minus 6.40 rating thus far. The ability to grab rebounds is critical to success, and the Cougars are 202nd with 33.9 total rebounds per game, while the Chanticleers are 100th with 36.3 total rebounds per game up to this point. Our team pick is Coastal Carolina Chanticleers minus 8 points. All in all, go with the Coastal Carolina Chanticleers to cover the spread in this game. These defenses are giving up too many points lately, as Chicago State is giving up 76 points in their previous four games, while Coastal Carolina is allowing 88.3 points in their last three games. Both defenses are also allowing too many shots throughout the season to go in, as the Chanticleers are 219th in the sport, with a 44.7 opposing shooting percentage, while the Cougars are 281st in the nation, allowing 45.8% of the shots against them to go in. Our total pick is over 144 points. Go with the over as it seems to be the better option for this game. North Dakota vs Western Illinois. The North Dakota Fighting Hawks, 7-14, 1-7 Summit, will be trying to snap their seven-game road losing streak when they face the Western Illinois Leathernecks, 11-8, 4-4 Summit, on Monday night. The Fighting Hawks are coming off an 84-72 loss to Oral Roberts as 13.5-point underdogs. The Leathernecks are coming off a 60-56 win over St. Thomas, Minnesota, as 1.5-point favorites. Being the first meeting between these teams this season these two teams also become the last to face each other for the first time this season, before the conference schedule starts seeing rematches. In having both already played the rest of the conference, it's easy to note that the Leathernecks have fared much better. The Fighting Hawks needed to hit 18 three-point shots to pick off their lone Summit League win of the season. Now they face up against the best defense in the conference against the three-point shot. Western Illinois has allowed only 16 three-point shots to be made against them over their last three games, and just five in the last two. 
the Fighting Hawks will not get anywhere near 8 teammates, and they just aren't a strong enough shooting team otherwise, having shot 38.1% overall in their last 5 games. Our team pick is Western Illinois minus 6.5 points. Western Illinois is 5-2 against the spread at home this season, and 5-1-1 against the spread in their last 7 following a straight-up win, per covers.com. Neither of these teams have been on fire from the field, with Western Illinois shooting just 42.7% from the field over their last five, and North Dakota just 38.1% in the same span. Combined the two have averaged 138 points per game in that span, a tally that includes the 77 points that the Fighting Hawks put up in their win over Kansas City, but far their most in the stretch. The Leathernecks defense has been mighty over their last two games, allowing just 52 and 56 points, respectively. Both teams also land on the bottom half of the Ken Palm Tempo ratings, with Western Illinois at 181st and North Dakota at 218. This game will not be burner by any stretch. Our total pick is under 139 points. The last two meetings between these teams went under, and this one will extend the trend. Baylor Bears vs. Kansas Jayhawks. Kansas has lost back-to-back -back conference games, and they will not lose a third. Bill Self will have his team prepared after getting blown out at home. Baylor just beat Oklahoma, but they were down two with a minute left, if the three from Bridges bounces out, they may have lost that game. Kansas is now in an extremely undervalued underdog in this matchup. Baylor has great guard play, but Kansas may still have the best two players on the floor with Wilson and Dick. Most importantly, Jalen Wilson is 6'8", 225, and can score inside, where Baylor is not as strong. Our team pick is Kansas plus 1.5 points. This is a great spot to back one of the best teams in the nation off of a loss. This will be a shootout in Waco. The home team typically has an upper hand in dictating pace of play and how the game goes. Baylor's strength is on the perimeter, where they have three elite guards who will look to score quickly. Kansas can adapt their style, as they are efficient on offense and defense, ranking in the top 20 for each, according to Ken Palm. Our total pick is over 149.5 points. Kansas plays at the 118th fastest tempo in the nation, but more importantly they are efficient enough to score on most of their opportunities. There are five players in the game who are likely going to play in the NBA, scoring will not be hard to come by. Nevada Wolfpack vs New Mexico Lobos. Nevada and New Mexico have both been excellent this season against the spread. Tuesday's loss to Boise State marked the first time in nine games that Nevada lost Austrian shillings. New Mexico has covered in three of its last four. I'm going to side with Nevada in this game because of how good they've been at home. The Wolfpack are 9-0 at home overall, and they've won their past two home games by 15 points and 11 points, despite only being favored by 2.5 and 4 points. I trust Nevada defensively enough to contain Mashburn and the Lobos' elite offensive attack. Our team pick is Nevada minus 2.5 points. The Wolfpack are ranked 52nd nationally in field goal defense, and that should be enough to help them pull out a close win. I think they'll preserve the lead down the stretch at the foul line, where they are a top 10 team nationally at 79.2%. New Mexico plays at the nation's 22nd fastest pace, according to Ken Palm's adjusted tempo, so it's no surprise the Lobos's over-under split this season is 11 8 Nevada has an over-under split of 12 7 despite playing at the 263rd fastest pace. The over has hit in 7 out of the past 8 games for Nevada. Our total pick is over 147.5 points. I'm siding with the over here based on these trends. Also, neither team scored fewer than 70 points in either of their matchups last season. We know New Mexico wants to score a lot, and Nevada has posted at least 74 points in four of its past eight games, so the point totals are trending up for the Wolfpack. They'll be able to keep up with the Lobos in this game, thanks to elite free-throw shooting, three-pointers from Lucas, and inside scoring from Baker.